And what's going on everybody? It's Key Master. I'm going to watch you guys in the video. Yes, that's right everybody. You know what time it is. It's Daily Dose time. That's right. We do our Daily Dose of Gaming News today, guys. Um, I am just going to leave it out like this. We are not in this video going to be talking about um, Google Stadia. Stadia. I think it's Stadia. Personally, I'm, I'm pronouncing it Stadia. Um, Google Stadia. I'm going to do a separate video completely from that. Um, I feel like it's just too big of a news topic to cover in the news um, with everything else going on. So, um, so, with that being said, guys, let's jump into the news. Before I forget, though, please make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. We're starting to get some traction on this news thing. I love you guys so much for doing that. We'll be getting four or five views every single video this week. Amazing. Thank you guys so much. Now, guys, let's jump into the news. Make sure you guys hit that before we get on too far into this and forget. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Major League Baseball players smashed TV because teammates were playing Fortnite. What? The Philadelphia Phillies have a Fortnite problem with some players choosing to spend portions of a game against the Atlanta Braves, which occurred last September, playing the shooter sensation. This is not looked upon. This was not what veteran first baseman Carlos Santana, and that's not what he wanted. Um, Report indicates that he grabbed a bat and repeated it and retreated to the room at Citizens Bank Park where the game took place and smashed the TV. Uh, this as took place at the end of the game, which marked the third and consecutive loss. Uh, Santana spoke to ESPN on the matter saying, I see a couple players, I'm not going to say names, they play video games during the game. We come and lose too many games, and I feel like we're too, we weren't worried about it. We weren't respecting, uh, they, they weren't the respecting the teammates, distance. the coaches, or the staff, or the front office. It's not my personality, but I'm angry because I want to make it good. Um, the Phillies did confirm that Fortnite as it was the catalyst for Santana's outburst, and management seems to acknowledge that there are some fundamental issues with the team's problems. This is something that close to the addresses that led to the team leaders to outline policies that will keep players focused on the game, uh, such as requiring pitchers to remain in the dugout. Uh, time will tell if these new boundaries can keep the Phillies thinking about home runs rather than Fortnite kills, but certainly some steps are being made. Since the incident, Santana has been traded to the Seattle Mariners, so he will at least not be responsible for any TV smashing at the Phillies organization in the upcoming season. Um, I, I just want to talk about this, guys, because I mean, I mean, like, Fortnite's cool, Apex is cool, whatever your, whatever your choice of gaming is cool, but you get paid millions of dollars a year to play a game, a kids game, baseball. Play the damn game. Keep off the Fortnite. You don't play for like two, three months a year. Play it then. Play it on your off days. Play it when you're traveling. Not a big deal. Anyway, on, guys. Battlefield 5 Firestorm map revealed. And um, like this big news because uh, for those guys who played on the 5, we've never received our first glimpse at the HAL for you. Uh, vehicles are going to be a must for Firestorm players as there are 17 different vehicles to choose from. Uh, my personal favorite is the tractor with a turret attached to it. Um, <laughs> it's got to be good stuff. Um, you know, of course, everybody's really excited about it. Uh, the Firestorm actually uh, plays. Uh, it, it just looks really interesting, guys. I mean, I personally don't want any of the guy, but if you guys like to the environment, uh, vehicles, and things like that, you should keep an eye out for it on other news. So, we may have been right. I may have gotten a little crazy the other day, guys. I may have been right. Could include Bullet Storm. Or Duke Nukem. That's right, you heard me right. Bullets or Duke Nukem. Um, so yeah, like we've been talking about, guys, March 28th, Panther Gearbox is having a panel at PAX East. Tease, Gearbox story tease for game for the show. Uh, the official gear of the first month was something about what appears to be the Duke Nukem DLC. The Duke Nukem DLC was a pre order for the Duke But with the Duke Nukem DLC, it's a different possibility. It's people are saying that it could be a Nintendo Switch port for Polestorm for us to quote them to include the Duke Nukem DLC. Everybody's opinion is some kind of porting news 
coming out for the kind of portals one two come here to switch things up in the future. Um, another possibility is that Bullet Storm or Future franchises are getting a main game. Um, I'm not sure which one I would like more of me personally. I've always been a huge Duke Duke fan. See the conscious of age. I think that'd be great. Let me know what you guys want down below if you guys would prefer a Duke Duke game or a Bullet Storm game down below in the comments. This is when I love the internet, guys. This is one of my favorite stories of the day just because it makes me love the internet so much. PewDiePie vs. T-Series viewed as now has its own video game. Because that's what we do. Zero deaths. Um, if you guys who don't know, PewDiePie and T-Series are in a subscription feud that would be the top the top, the top YouTuber. Um, we will get into the whole ins and outs of this whole controversy in way too long. For the last time. Um, but you know, it, I'm going to break it down to as PewDiePie is a individual content creator, T Series is a corporate channel. I'm not exactly sure how this is a feud. Personally, I feel like the fact that PewDiePie is even he currently, I think he's beating them currently still, um, is amazing. The fact that he's beating a corporate channel. But, anyways, um, what has been described as the great subscriber war has become the basis for a new video game. Developed by Thomas Bruss of Atmos Games, this is a 2D platformer that follows PewDiePie as he fights what appears to be the, the year 2033 following the dubbed Subbot War of 2019. This post-apocalyptic action adventure platformer is about PewDiePie's return to YouTube and is officially available now. This game titled Zero Deaths makes players collect monetization coins and defeat subbots, and it even features voice acting from PewDiePie himself. Perhaps the most impressive aspect of Zero Deaths is the is that Brett that Brush created the PewDiePie YouTube related game himself in approximately two weeks. Furthermore, this game can be done for free if you brush. Uh, though Brush is accepting donations of which 50% goes to Games for Good, uh, this is a nonprofit or organization that just redistributes donations from game publishers and the like to various children's charities. In other words, playing Zero Deaths and then you can help, sp you know, can help spread the love through for PewDiePie through Zero Deaths and then donate the money to a good cause. It's a win win win. Um, yeah, guys, I, I just love it. I think it's awesome. I try and decide if I want to get this. We'll see from Friday. Um, but yeah, definitely on my list of things to look at. Uh, yeah, so if you guys are interested in a, in a 2D platformer, go check it out. It'd be fun. Donate and move on. <laughs> Call of Duty Mobile beta pre registers open ahead of Western release. Last year was announced that Call of Duty Mobile, a forthcoming entry in the first person shooter franchise that is intended for iOS and Android devices, was on its way to China. Now it seems that we'll have an opportunity to play it on the go in the United States. Uh, Activision confirmed this at GDC 2019. A collection of beloved Call of Duty characters, maps, and and weapons will be culled from across the series. It has been confirmed yet. Um, but pre registering will let you get notified once it's available and potentially get put into a big death. There you go. Apex Legends solo, solo duo mode is not releasing any time soon. What? Why? I want it. Uh, for a free to play Battle Royale, Apex Legends has experienced a smooth launch with the increasingly popular VR title taking the genre by storm. However, it still lacks several features to have by its players, such as. I don't go online and read the same articles or reading right now. 
But anyways, I digress. Tune in later today, guys, for another video. We're gonna do a uh, new series. And you guys will see it. So that's why you guys gotta subscribe. You know, this series will be popping up. Anyways. Pretty much it, guys. Um, besides, I, I, I don't think you can do Keymaster 84, we play games to make games. Here's gonna hate, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.